In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the hardest chord on the ukulele. That is the E chord. But if you stick around, I got something real special for you. Welcome to Ukulele Pros. Thanks for being here, and thank you for subscribing to the channel, turning on that bell notification, because I know you may not be subscribed, because a lot of my viewers aren't even subscribed yet. So anyway, thanks for doing that. In this video, we're going to keep it short. I'm going to show you how to play the E chord. It's probably the hardest chord on the ukulele. If you're a guitar player, it's like what that B bar chord is. Well, this is on the ukulele, the E. I'm actually going to give you two versions of this uh, for you today as well. Now, I have something special for you. I'm going to put it in the link below. Free ukulele pros chord charts. Now, not is it only going to have the E chord, but it's going to have all the foundational, fundamental, essential chords that you need. Major and minor and sevens chords and some sus chords, uh, some bar chords. We're going to put that link below. Go get that. That's totally a free gift from me to you. So, um, all right. So let me show you this E chord. and I'm going to show you exactly how I finger it and uh, give you some tips. Now, I am playing my Koloha Mango tenor, and I do have a low G on this, but don't worry about that. It doesn't matter if you have low G or high G. What are you playing, by the way? What kind of ukulele? Leave that in the comments below. And if you like what I'm playing, check out my number one store. That's store.ukulelepros.com. All right, so grab your E chord. All I'm doing here is with my middle finger, what I do is I bar the fourth string and the third st string at the fourth fret. So I do it together. Then I add my second finger here on the second string, fourth fret note. So they're all on the fourth fret. And then I add my first finger right there and Voila. It looks easy. It's actually kind of hard. Now, some people may do some different fingerings. Two, three, four, one. That one's a little tougher for me. If you have bigger fingers, uh, this is a little tough. That's why I bar with my second finger here. Now, I'm going to give you one other, one other option for that. How did you do on that? Can you do that chord? You want to make sure you get every... There you go. You want to make sure every string rings out nice and clear. Until you can get that, keep keep going on it. Keep going. All right. Now, if you want to get into more chord progressions and songs, that's where my website, yougatthepros.com, comes in. We have over 20 courses, a premium membership, a fantastic nation. We're going to go over not only this chord, but tons of other progressions, songs, blues, music, reading, everything you need to know, yougatthepros.com. Now, that's one E chord. Now, a lot of times you may see this E chord. All right, this is a, I guess, an easier alternative. After I show it to you, let me know if it's easier than the other one. This one, you got to bar all four strings at the fourth fret, and then you're just going to add your pinky to the first string, seventh fret. Again, nice and clear notes. Now, I think people will say this is easier, but it's still hard because you got to bar here with the first finger. So. Bar chords aren't always that easy. Now, so if you see an E chord in your, your song, whatever you're playing, you can do this one. You can do this one. I prefer this one. I'm not a huge fan of this one right here because I don't like having that, that melody note way up high, but it totally works. So which one did you find easier? E chord number one, E chord number two. Leave that in the comments below. So, all right, that's it. That's your E chord on the ukulele. Good luck. Keep practicing. Thanks for being here and smashing that like button, leaving the comments. Don't forget, store.ukulelepros.com, the number one store for all your ukulele needs. And then if you want to get better at the ukulele, that is ukulelepros.com.